Um, I, I was fortunate enough to have workshopped the piece when Vern was writing it, and uh, it immediately was, was drawn to it. Uh, it had a huge impact on me. So that years later, when I was running a theater company in Montreal, um, I produced it there, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, was the second professional production the show ever had. And I was, uh, and it, it's such, in my view anyway, such a powerful piece that uh, it hasn't let go of me yet. So <laughs> I wanted to, I want another crack at it. Essentially, it's the story, it, the story begins with a marriage that's falling apart. The, obviously, the marriage is in trouble. And the husband uh, starts an uh, extramarital affair and there's, things are just not, you know, are not happy at home. So eventually the wife says, okay, we need to talk. And the husband thinks he knows what the talk is going to be. So he sits down and says, you know what? Yes, okay, you know, we haven't been good and blah, blah. Uh, but she surprises him by saying, uh, what I need for you to do is take care of me. What I didn't say is that he's also lost his job, which adds uh, tension to the relationship. And what she says to him in that moment is, I have a job for you. And he says, what is it? And she says, to take care of me. I've been to the doctor and I've been diagnosed with cancer. And my job for you is to take care of me. That, and, and in the course of his taking care of her, they rediscover the love that they had for each other, which makes that such a, a powerful uh, uh, play for me. It's, 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 uh, it's not an easy play, it's not, uh, but it, I find it so uh, dynamic and uplifting on its own. I, it just hasn't let me go. And interestingly enough, when I was casting it in, uh, in Montreal, there was a woman who came to audition who was a, a breast cancer survivor. And she read the script and she didn't know Vern Thiessen at all. And she said, oh my God, who is this guy? He knows something. And I thought, yeah, that's right. So now, <laughs> fast forward you know, X number of years, and myself as a cancer survivor, it has an additional uh, poignance for me.